anarchists did not try to carry out genocide against the Armenians in Turkey. They did not deliberately starve to death millions of Ukrainians. They did not create a system of death camps to kill millions of Jews, gypsies, and Slavs in Europe. They did not firebomb scores of large German and Japanese cities and drop nuclear bombs on two of them. They did not carry out a great leap forward that killed scores of millions of Chinese people. They did not kill more than 500,000 members of the Indonesian Communist Party, alleged party sympathizers, and others. They did not attempt to kill everybody with any appreciable education in Cambodia, murdering one-fourth of the country's population. They did not kill as many as 200,000 Mayan peasants and others in Guatemala. They did not kill more than 500,000 Tutsis and pro-peace Hutus in Rwanda. They did not implement U.S. and allied trade sanctions that killed perhaps 500,000 Iraqi children. They did not launch one aggressive U.S. war after another. There's a great deal anarchists did not do, but statists did do. States are clumsy and inept in many ways, thank God. <laughs> but they are exceptionally good at wreaking death and destruction. Indeed, if they were not, they could not sustain themselves as states. In a functional sense, we may define the state as the organization with comparative advantage in deliberately, violently killing people and in appropriating and destroying wealth. 